Hello, family, and welcome back to the Ebony Odyssey. My name is Jermango Long, and I am a servant of the Most High God. I really appreciate you coming along, and as always, enjoy the journey. Uh, today's topic is thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. And uh, my support scripture for this is Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Um, and it's part of verse 5, but I'll read it all. Let your conversation be without covetedness and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Um, and family, you know, it's a lot going on nowadays, but let me give you a background of me. Uh, I'm a veteran uh, of the United States Army. Uh, I served 13 uh, total years uh, and was injured in Iraq. Um, and all throughout that time, you know, I was surrounded by uh, men and women uh, who I trusted my life to. Uh, and I appreciate their service. I appreciate uh, the battles that uh, we went through together. I appreciate the difficulty. Um, and, you know, throughout your life, you're going to go through those, those uh, trials and those tribulations. Um, and I'm thankful that I had people that I could lean on, that I had people that I knew would come back for me. Uh, because we were in this together, because we were doing this together. Um, and it's it's something to be said about, you know, the things you go through and the people you go through them with. Um, in a marriage, you may go through ups and downs throughout the relationship. Uh, unfortunately, you know, um, it is such a high divorce rate now because people don't understand uh, the pain, the struggle, uh, the sacrifice uh, that's all required to get to that certain point um, and what you have to go through and the reward at the end, you know, uh, having a marriage, having a family, building a legacy. No one understands the sacrifice or what it takes uh, to do something like that, to get through something like that. Uh, 30 years of marriage, 50 years of marriage. You know, 70 years of marriage, you know, shoot, 10 years of marriage nowadays. But, you know, you have to go through a lot to to get to a place of where, you know, you have built something. You know, it, and when you go through, you know, come up, you come through basic training, you go through your AITs, you go through whatever classes and courses and schools you've been through, you've built something. And you have people on top of you. Uh, that you follow, you know, if you remember the story of the centurion soldier, you know, he had people under him and when he would say go, they would go. And I'm only saying this because guess what? We're putting in work for God, the most high. It's nothing else that we could possibly do. And guess what will happen once this is all said and done, he will come back for us. No man left behind. That used to be the moniker. That used to be, you know, uh, the theme for military service. No man left behind. You know, no matter what you did, you would go into war knowing that your people would come for you. And I want you to understand, you know, today is a day where we look around the world and we see a lot of things going on. But guess what? If you're putting in the work, if you're serving the most high God, guess what happens? He is going to come back for you. Don't get off the path of the sacrifice, of the struggle, you know, because guess what? When times get hard, people often run. That's what's so amazing about serving God. When the rubber meets the road. Guess what? We all battle with uh, the sins of the flesh. We've all battled with them. But when that rubber meets the road, am I going to continue in sin or I'm going to pick up this book, read and get my mind right? So many of us conform 
to what the world wants us to do instead of being transformed. Renew your mind. Renew your reading habits. Renew your faith in doing good works. Renew all of those things that put you on this path in the first place. So he can say, well done, my good and faithful servant. It's an honor to serve God. It's an honor to serve in any capacity, um, whether it be military, whether it be a baseball team, whether it be a football team, whether it be a marriage. Serve. Selfless service. Right? It is something just to be said about these things, man. And that's on my mind and on my heart today because of some of the things that go on in, a, in the world that we live in that we don't understand the, the sacrifices that people made and the commitment that people make and what's required of us for their sacrifice, for their commitment, to honor them with our actions. Because with our actions showing that we will never leave or forsake somebody, you know, he will have that same love toward us because we're not going to do anything that's going to dishonor him you know because you run up against the things and if you if you come back guys you just got to come back to this verse let your conversation be without covetedness no i ain't mad that somebody else gets something i can't be And I'm sorry if my initial thought feels that way. So I'm not mad at somebody getting something or obtaining that. We have to be content with who we are, with what we have, with what the Lord has given us at this particular time. Because at the end of the day, we know who we are serving. We're thankful for getting a chance to serve. And he will not, you know, neglect our sacrifice. He won't look over us and not come back for us. He won't say, ah, they're okay. The Lord sees. The Lord knows. And I'm just thankful for all the Lord has done. So, family, again, I appreciate you for coming along. And as always, enjoy the journey. 